everybody, I'm Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. He's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're gonna see based on this ring walk. Gonzalez is so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Well, they've been waiting for this moment and now they get it. Round one underway. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool like try to be a power puncher on a given night or do something ultra defensively that could be an advantage yeah misdirection you know the guy is going to be real keen both guys because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them so start one hand he's going to be looking he's going to react start the right hand just a little flinch of the right hand throw the left hand instead misdirection There's the headshot, but he parries it away. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. A solid uppercut by Gonzalez. Halfway through round number one. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Chico's showing you a little defensive skill there. I'd better move away from that punch. Yeah. Gonzalez's right hand scores well that time. Off the target by Chico. Seconds to go in this round. Blocks that belt line well. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. Now, Teddy, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. 
Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. You don't need that. No, throw that away. Here we go. Round two is underway. He missed with that headshot. <laughs> He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Is a sharp uppercut by Gonzalez. <laughs> Unable to score with the hook. <laughs> he tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Halfway through this round. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Gonzalez. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Gonzalez is rocked all of a sudden. Now each man has stunned the other. There's that overhand right. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their job. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. All right? Yeah, we'll just keep moving. Gonzalez is fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. Gonzalez's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Good block by Chico. Nice strike after catching one by Gonzalez. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. A headshot blocked. 
He clinches when he gets to the inside. There's a good right hand. seconds to go here in this round. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Oh, what a left hand. You got it. Let's go. Hold up. Now nice. finish him off. Big shot. The right came clean. Hey, stay with me here. Blocks that punch. Oh, look at that. You know, you need space to punch. He realizes that, so he pushes his opponent. <laughs> he just missed that shot up top. Got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Gonzalez. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punch. Final 10 seconds. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Protecting his head well with his guard. And round three comes to an end. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. There you go. Well, I think this is a fairly even fight, Teddy. As we look at your scorecard, that's the way you have it as we begin round number four. Well, it's been a battle of jabs, to be honest with you, Joe. And until one guy shows that his jab is bilingual, it's going to stay close. And what I mean by that, if one guy shows that his jab can do more than speak just English, maybe a little Spanish, you know, maybe a little bit of this language where he hooks off and he does more things, that guy is going to separate himself. Able to cover up that gut. You got this one. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Comes with a straight right hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Halfway through round number four. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. How do you break up? Big, big shot he just scored with. Gonzalez is on the canvas. He went down hard there. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that may have been just a flash knockdown there, Teddy. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear-headed. His legs are okay. 
Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands why he got caught. Work the body. Round now with his last ten seconds. Add and body. Add and body. Chico's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point. But not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. Body and head. Body and head. Chico's got to hope that these 60 seconds are going to pay off for him here. Went down hard in that last round. He's got to gather himself because you know his opponent's going to come right after him when that bell rings. You're not focused. You're doing great. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Halfway into round number five here. Keep moving. Keep moving. Gonzalez has been hurt by that shot. Well, there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. Chico's doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher. But in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. He's not going to be able to do it countering on the back end. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Chico. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. And he returns on that exchange. Not much action as he just ties up. Chico's in a tough spot right now. Solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is it. And it's over. This fight is over. Gonzalez is unable to beat the count. 
knockout loss for him. what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it alongside teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us we'll see you next time ringside